Hey there, fellow travelers. Welcome back to another episode of No Man's Sky. As always, Captain Beefy with the Game Vault here today. If you haven't done so, please subscribe to the channel. I appreciate your views, and I'd love to earn your subscription today. So we're on our third mission here, our third um, ugh, episode of a brand new start for 2023. And we're on a planet full of... Some very mean animals. And we're about to dip on out of here because... Well, actually, before we do that, let's check some stuff out. So we can land once and take off once. After we take off from here. Let's see if we can't find... One more busted up ship. And we didn't. Found us an abandoned building instead. Oh, well, that's too bad. Yeah, we're not even going to bother with it. All right. Well, we're going to head on up to the space station, and then we're going to leave the space station, go to the anomaly. But we're going to set it up so they're, like, right across from each other so I can trade out this ship for the one that we found in the last episode, that A-Class. And then sell it off and make our first uh, chunk of change because we are broke as you can be and I wouldn't mind getting a little bit of scratch so that you know we can afford to do a little traveling around this uh, beautiful galaxy we find ourselves in here and without money well we got nothing so that's the goal. Oh, we, uh... That's what happened. I was like, what happened? I'm not paying attention here. Now once we get that money, honey, it's going to be time to get some nanites and some salvage data so that we can actually start, um... doing some other stuff besides just zipping around, basically doing nothing. Although we are following the, uh... Artemis path, so there's that at least. Right? Right. Alright, so we hop off, set the save point, jump out of here, and then we will immediately bring in the uh, anomaly. This is by far my favorite way. I would say arguably the best way to trade ships, especially if you're salvaging busted up ships that you can't fly back and forth to the space station. That's all you gotta do is go across, and just like when you're on a planet's surface, you switch out your ship. It doesn't matter what condition it's in, it will leave the anomaly. It will fly away. Not like on planet side where if your launchers are screwed up or everything else is screwed up, then you're in trouble. So, away we go. Here's the ship, the exhausted Iyamaga. Exhausted Iyamaga. What a horrible name. All right. As you can see, it's on fire. I mean, it pretty much sucks, and I think I'm dummy. Well, one, two, three, four, five. All right, I got. I've got enough open slots, so we're gonna go ahead and land in here. And this is the reason I like doing it. It's a real quick shot. You don't have to worry about getting ambushed by pirates. You don't have to worry about running out of fuel. Um, anything. It's just in and out, boom, done. If you've got nine ships and you want to trade eight of them in, this is the way to do it, man. Trust me. Alright, is there anything on this ship that's... Yeah. Nah, just a bunch of busted up crap. Look at all of it. Ugh. Technically, I could store that, but really, at this point, I'm not worried. We're doing this mainly... To get the parts and the money, so let's do it. Bingo. Look at that. Worth almost 10 million. <laughs> I was afraid that would happen. Anything we can get rid of. Uh... Well, you know what? This stuff. Not that big of a deal. We'll get rid of it. I can always make more bullets. 
All they take is ferrite dust. Hopefully it was only one slot short. Perfect, all right. So for the price of a handful of bullets, we just made some money. So let's take a look here and see what we got. Plus we got upgrade uh, modules, so that's good. They'll be A-class, so if we offer to trade, we have 9,000 units right now. Let's go ahead and sell some goodies. Oh, here's the big one. That was not too shabby either, right? All right, so we see ourselves sitting on almost 10 million bucks, just like that. That's enough to buy a decent chip if we want to replace this one. That's enough to do a lot of things. Uh, we did get some good stuff we're going to throw on here. We are not going to use this because, yeah, we won't get it back when we trade in the ship. It will raise its value, but it's not worth it. I'd rather keep that until we get a good ship that we want to actually keep. Uh, cyclotron module, we're going to trade that for nanites, that for nanites, and yeah, all three of those are actually crappy. I was hoping for a warp one or something else. None of those really are worth keeping, but they will be worth a few nanites, which is cool. Um, so let's go ahead. Come on. And get those nanites. Go visit this guy, we'll sell him. So almost a thousand nanites out of those. Puts us just up over twelve hundred. And I think yeah, we already got the thing here. Alright, we're in good shape. Can do you think we're in a Corvex system? <laughs> These guys, I swear. Alright, so what else do we have? Anything else to get rid of? Sell? No, no, no. Everything else looks like it's worth keeping for the moment. So keep it, we will. Now let's take a look at our log beyond the space anomaly. We don't want that. We want Artemis. See how it moves? I didn't select that. Just moves. It's so annoying. Ah, alright. So we have to construct the translator for this microprocessor and we need some copper so we're gonna have to find copper and this looks like just a place to get some copper so head on down to the planet surface hopefully Woo! Hopefully we'll find a building to land near. Something with a landing pad, but... Uh, there's an unknown building. Oh, look at this. This is just sometimes, man. Sometimes things just work out in your favor. I know be is that, don't tell me. Don't tell me that's copper. Ha <laughs> ha. Does it get any better than this guys? No, it doesn't get any better than this. Look at all that. Alright, let's do it. Oh, what? There we go. That's right, I changed my uh little multi tool. Forgot about that. We're going to have to go in and start fixing those parts on it to get it up to snuff. Not a rush right now, but it was a good little find, you know. I'll take it. I went from a crappy C class to a crappy, I think it was a B class or was it an A class? I don't remember. I think it was B. Look at it once we're done clearing this spot up. Seems like you can never get it all, right? Is 
always like that one little, like you can't even see it. Where is it? What's waiting? What's left behind? Anything? Can't tell. All right. And that was only 60 copper. You gotta be kidding me. I'll be darned. Lots of subterranean relics, boy. Um, hello? You know, we're gonna start doing is chasing these, uh, uh area six. 900. That's a long ways away, but that's okay. We can do it. We can handle ourselves for that amount. That distance. Ugh. One second here, guys. Forgot to set my, uh, <coughs> my little timer. You don't want these to run too long. I figure for a Let's Play 30 to 45 minutes, it's pretty solid, give or take, you know, a couple. I like mine a little on the longer side. It's kind of something like if I'm watching a Let's Play, I want to see some stuff happen and some advancement being made. You can't do that always in 20 or 30 minutes, but I think a good 45 is good. Anything longer than that gets a little rough. If you want to watch two episodes, you can watch two episodes. It's still only an hour and a half. It's a, basically a movie. But if you're going into hour-long episodes or longer, then you really got to dedicate a lot of time to watching them. I don't always have that much time or attention span, to be quite honest. It's like usually time to move on to something else, but I just don't have as much time anymore as I used to to watch other creators. I try to um, I keep stuff going in the background when I'm doing other things. Like if I'm just filming some raw fight footage or something, I'll have some stuff playing in the background uh, when I'm at work I'll have something playing in the background you know and just kind of give it a listen keep supporting my favorite uh, creators because I know the views help and the likes help and all that and... All right, why not right all right well, let's get ourselves plenty more here this looks like a much bigger load of it oh yeah This should get us tons. And I know I can make the uh, ball a little smaller, you know, on the uh, mining thing, and that'll get me a higher yield on the resources, but to be honest, I'm not that worried over it. I doubt it would have made a 60% uh, difference on that last yield, and this yield for sure, we're going to get plenty, so... We're just going to do it. What's nice about this, it'll leave us plenty of extra to turn into chromatic metal, because we're going to need some warp cells soon. As you can imagine, I am itching to leave this system and do some exploring, but we will get there. We will get there. See the little loop. Damn it, I used the wrong one. All right, well, we did good enough. Start making our way back to the ship. Hello, oxygen. Gotta love these plants for oxygen. Let's 
suck up a little carbon while we're here. And we're going to get a little ferrite dust too because we just used up some that we didn't want to use up. It is getting cold out though. We got a little distance to go here, so let's try and make it there before we freeze. You can always hop in, hop out, and get some more ferret dust. We do have a building over here that we can seek shelter in if the need be, but I got a feeling we're not going to need to. And I honestly wouldn't mind. I think this will be a good chance to maybe get some uh, salvage data units while we're here too. As handy as they are, it'll be nice to um, have some, you know. Oh, and there's a cave over here, I bet. There's cobalt in that cave. So yeah, we're going to check that out too. And I don't think we got the nav data from here yet. There we go. All right, so let's hop in. We'll get our temperature back under control. And we're going to head into that cave for a brief detour while we uh, try to get some cobalt, which is highly, highly useful. And while we'll fix this. That's going to prompt us to learn words a couple different ways. Let's see, speaking up with aliens, um, ancient ruins, and having the uh, auto translator. Look how pretty. <coughs> cobalt, cobalt, cobalt. Uh, oh, the cave opens up a little bit. Some hanging ones too, pure cobalt. These things, I don't think they're really worth gathering at this point. All right, let's get us some cobalt. It's valuable, but it's also useful. There's some building stuff that we'll need for it. And I remember we have something coming up that I wanted to make that requires um, the refined cobalt. So we'll make sure we get plenty of it. Those little geodes that pop up sometimes, those are nice. They're either cobalt, sometimes they're ferrite in one form or another. Check this out. I'm going to have nice. It's so worthwhile. So before Waypoint, if you played before Waypoint, you'll remember starting a new character up and then going and finding as much cobalt as you can on your first planet. And then you do what we call breaking economies where you go to a planet and sell all your cobalt you know make sure you get a bunch of it because the and you do it at the terminal there the galactic trade terminal and because of supply and demand if you flood the market with a supply the demand goes down so the price drops so you bring in ten thousand of them at one price and they already had two thousand well suddenly you can buy back your ten plus their two and still make a fortune because you drop down the uh value by up to 80% depending on how much you sold so that was just a viable way to make money real fast you got yourself a couple of warp hyper cores you know not the warp cores you know and just go from system to system um, selling cobalt and buying back more you know all you needed was really your initial grab of it and you don't even need enough to drop it 80% in the beginning, uh, but I mean, the higher you, the percentage you drop it, the quicker you'll advance and the more money you'll make. So I do recommend, you know, or at least back in the day, 
having a stack or two because that would really do it. And hell, I'd end up filling. I'd end up buying a uh, um, hauler and just filling a hauler with cobalt for quick trade, you know. And you could get yourself up to in the billions in pretty short order by doing that, especially once you really started getting a ton of it. There are better ways to make money, but early game, that was the clincher, man. Everybody was doing it. It was good times. A couple more up here. We're going to get them all. We have, oh yeah, we do. A couple more little hidden ones there. And down here, we'll get some carbon. Because we used enough of that up, didn't we? Oh, there's a little more. We might have some of that marrow bulb. Not something I really want to keep. I'll probably sell it off. Or I think I can convert it into something in the refiner. Maybe it ref maybe it um, turns to carbon memory source. I don't remember exactly, but that would make sense, being that it's a plant, right? Okay, a couple more here, man. So it's still. It's still a way to make money, just not nearly as much as you used to and as rapidly. Uh, if I had the hazmat gloves. Alright. Well, let's head back to the ship here. Take stock of what we've gotten. So we got 942 cobalt. We got 10 of these, so we're going to break these down. You see the cobalt's going up. See a little ionized cobalt? That's great. Alright, so what else did we want to do? We want to fix this thing up, but it's, we're not in a big hurry for that. I do need to get the microprocessors for this. We already do the chromatic metal? Alright, it's done now. Got a lot of copper still, that's good. So I think we'll go... Is there anything else we want? We're going to need to get words on the space station. So let's go up to the space station. Get those words and get three microprocessors so we can fix our warp drive up. Get ready to do some star hopping. But we also have something to do in here. Search for an inhabited outpost. Uh, that's right. We got, we're just going to follow the path for him. We're not going to bother talking to anybody in here yet. kind of lead you on a path to do your translated words. Alright, so... Three microprocessors. Now we can afford the damn things. And I think I'm going to pick up five of the uh, wiring rooms, too, because we always seem to need those. It's a shame you can't build those, right? Two. Look at that. 300 grand. Damn. So cheap. Alright. Uh, 
Oh, that's weird, right? There's like nobody here. I wonder if that's because... I bet you this guy is the guy that wants to work for me. Yeah, see? Huh. So... Maybe because this quest is active, there's nobody here? It's an interesting uh, setup. And we still need to do those uh, creature killings. Oh, we did a couple on the snowy planet. I forgot those were active. We had plenty of uh, aggressive animals on that planet. Should have kept going at it, and we would have been fine. But we didn't, so let's move on. Head back down to here. Hopefully we'll see it before we get down too low. Stand clouds out of the way. This has got to be it right. Oh, this is perfect. The little landing pad. I like setting up bases next to these, to be perfectly honest. It's so convenient because you don't need to put in a galactic terminal, you got it. You have a little trader guy too, see? This guy here. Yeah, always good stuff. All right. Oh yeah, I wanted to look at my multi tool. He has B class, okay. Alright, so is this not the place? Nope, sure there's somebody here. Oh he's outside. Hey bud. got a planetary chart. That's cool. Used a planetary chart to locate an ancient relic. Uh, I've got to sell some alien artifact. Looks like it's a good hike away. Heh. <laughs> Hidden on that, right? Definitely flying over there. That's where we're going to get three of the uh, little mini monoliths that we can access uh, the language from. Each one will teach you a word. They're all over the place on different planets. They're actually a great way to learn words, I think. They're probably my favorite. They seem to, other than the very first one where it kind of gives you a little beepity boppity boop, the rest of them just give you a word and you're done. It's not like uh, talking on the space station and all that where you got to talk to the guy and prompt him a couple many things. This is walk up to it, hold down square, boom, get your word, move on. Probably time-wise the most efficient way to do it. See what we got here. Give me help with the language. All right. Now we need to learn words from a knowledge stone. I was wrong. That's not. This is the knowledge stone. It's the monolith that has those three things around it, not the artifact. Here's a knowledge stone right here. We should be done right after that. And I think we have to go find out one of those uh, trans mager thingies.
All right, so we need to find a life form to ask about our location. Probably taking us back to where we were. Still too close, huh? I thought we went up there pretty high. Made a little money this episode. Advanced the story a little bit. Made a lot of money, actually, almost 10 million. That's pretty solid. And here's where we want to go. Thank you. Here's another great place to build a base. I might eyeball it for a minute or two just to see if anything special comes through. anything special flying around oh god thing looks so awful hey buddy I'm just gonna sit in this chair when I intended to talk to you All right, let's try that again That's right, so I need to raise my standing with the Corvex by two. So it is back to the space station again. I have to take a look at the missions they've got available. select two of them. We already have two picked, so that's good. If they're both for Corvex, great. I'll just go planet side and kill a bunch of uh, creatures. If they're not, then let's see what other ones are available up here. buddy Cor oh they're both Corvex perfect 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 all right oh we're gonna head back down to the snowy planet and do some killing oh, oh wait a minute let's Look at this planet. This is the one we're on, right? Parched. Uh, only four types. All right, forget it. Where's the cold one? There it is. See, at least this one. I know there's plenty of creatures. With a buttload of creatures, well, then we can throw down some food, attract them into an area, and then do some terrible things to them. I know it's not nice, but it is efficient.
I just want to find a free place to land. <laughs> Nobody, huh? Out here. Awesome. All right. Yep, more cobalt if we wanted, huh? And tritium. All right. Now we begin look for creatures because of course there are none around before we do anything else make 20 creature pellets Oh boy. Are you kidding me? Are most of these creatures diurnal, I wonder? Always active, both of these. He's actively trying to ruin my dad day. That's a weird little area. All right, there's something. So we will throw down a pellet. Let them come to us. Is that the body? Oh my god, that's so sad. Sorry. I saw something out of the corner of my eye just rolling down the mountain, and sure enough. All right, here comes a jerk. So that food will be enough to distract him off of me. Let's go ahead and bump him on out of here. throw some food down for you. That's okay. I don't need any free slots. Let's go ahead and drop this one. That's fine.
see what else we got left here. So we got a few more here. Go ahead and start popping. And there we go, coaling creatures. We have got it done. Let's go ahead and get these two. I know it was only 13 each. I'm pretty sure they both started at the same time, but I do not want that risk. We'll just knock off these other two. And then we're going to check this out. All right, let's go ahead and... We're going to get rid of... The... No, we're going to get rid of this. bit of that, get some nanites. And that should be about it right now. Yeah, we'll make our way back to the ship. First. Yeah, I saw that other thing in there, but we just don't have the room for it right now, so that's fine ship isn't too far away but we are cold so we gotta run 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 it's hard to prioritize all the stuff you need in the beginning because you get so used to it I kind of feel like it's good to build things roughly along the same lines like all right let's upgrade our air a little bit let's upgrade our traversal ability a little bit with the rocket packs Let's upgrade the shield on the on the ship as well as the gun and the hyperdrive and the pulse, you know. And if you do more than one thing at a time, you'll start to feel that difference and you'll feel that power you're gaining as opposed to um, if you're not, um, if you're only doing one thing, well, yeah, you'll feel it, but only when that thing is being used. We can't do that, so we'll have to destroy the blockage. We are going to get a couple of uh, exosuit charts, so that's a good thing. Be able to upgrade that suit a little bit. And we will be leaving the system soon enough, so that'll get us some more charts as well. Where is this thing? Oh, he's right around here. Oh, yeah. Just in time. Look at that cold. <laughs> Can't see. They're icing up. All right, let's get in there. We'll go ahead and push that into there. Uh, yeah, this we wanted to finish off, so we'll get that fixed. Multi-tool, can we fix? Yeah, well, you know what? We're going to start using these things and fixing these things up. Another wiring loom. All right, off to the space station. Away we go. Now, if you're enjoying this new series, leave a comment down below. It is greatly appreciated. And a like on the video. And of course, a subscription to the channel. 
can't tell you how much that's appreciated. Every single time I see somebody new, I'm like, yay, we got someone else. Let's do this. Yep, not even enough stamina to get through the space station. Ah, but here we are. Here we are. So, we got these two charts. Decent little chunk of units, too. Okay. Got our two Corvex standing. Let's talk to this guy, too, real quick, because we do have some maps, and I do want to trade them in for um, these emergency charts right here. we got seven of them. And we're going to want to use them all in the same system. All right, so next up, boom. This is the life form, and locate yourself on the star chart. Look at that. Th oh my god, it's an A-class. That thing is so freaking ugly. It's like a little shoebox. It's only got these on one side. Oh my god, it's horrifying. Alright guys, well thanks for joining me today. As always, I'm Captain Beefy with the Game Vault. We'll continue with the Artemis journey in our next episode here. If you haven't done so, like I asked before, please subscribe to the channel. I'd love it. Until next time, peace.